potential drawbacks to that shadow demon here. So altogether, I think this is the I don't want to say the worst draft that I've seen from Team Top so far, but <laughs> don't say that. Uh, but at the same time, the, the, this is the fourth draft I'm seeing from them like live. Uh, it's certainly the least appealing to me. It's the hardest to read. Ponyo's gonna spot them. They do get the disruption to start things off with, and that's your first blood. And that does not take too long. And of course, Kish just the one to get it. Uh, right click still flying in the air. Would have been nice to give it to the Pango here. I think this is the worst hero to give uh, first blood in your team, not gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. What's he gonna do with that exactly? Yeah. I mean, it is a Pango but, Puck matchup. You need any yeah. advantage you can get on this Pango versus the Puck. Because Puck does right click pretty hard uh, once he gets a couple levels. 3.8 in game per level. That's plus 4 damage almost every level he gains. So when you go up to level 5, level 6, he's already got a plus 20 buff pretty much. Plus yep. the items um, that you have. And that used to be the thing about that matchup, right? It's like at least you've got some security in the fact that you reduce the puck's damage when you go in, but now instead you get a shield, and that just means that it's no longer down to uh, the the amount of damage that the uh, that the opponent deals, but it's just like okay, you you have you have the shield now. The puck can just click through it. What's you're not you're not safe. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm a bit curious about this bottom lane. I mean, usually I would maybe watch this mid match up here and how well does the Pango get things started. But I want to see JTR with active pulling for Fortune Soul. Try to prepare. Now, nice attempt with an illusion block. But doesn't quite stop Akashi from running away. If they got those Luna illusions to block a couple movement, uh, a couple attempts from Akashi of breaking through, that could have been a, another kill for Team Tough. Talking about that, they almost lost their Wind Ranger in bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, this is such a classic lane, right? The Centaur set up for the stun. You always yep. hit the hoof stomp, even before you could actually. You yep. don't need the boots advantage anymore in order to be threatening in this lane. Ruh roh, ZTR burnt by the by the flames of hell. Is Doom getting his first kill? That's mm -hmm. not what you want out of this. And I carry Shadow Demon. Not quite, and yet WS uh, not going into the fire early on, securing his lane first before he uh, he might start getting greedy here. Twenty seconds for the lotuses to spawn as well. Would like to get it on the side of Team Tough. However, Talon things are going pretty okay for them. Of course, that one Luna death was a bit unfortunate. Not much that he can really do about it. This lane is annoying to play. Doom free farm. The pango cast this guy. It's like, I, 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 it, it sounds like I'm already saying it, but I think in my mind, like, yeah, he is, he is, is he a icky? He reads on his name, so I don't have to explain myself. Another attempt on that Luna. Oh, he's got my guy here. Oh yeah. Double US Luna. also taken down by Fortune Soul. There's the Willow trying to snipe the Vengeful Spirit. Just needs one hit to do it. Stick. Oh, that's a 1 HP survival! Literally 1 HP! No way. And maybe Fortune Soul can retaliate on Jokum. Jokum's trying to dodge the power shot, but this guy's just gonna right-click. Hell, this guy doesn't care about uh, throwing a power shot. You can dodge all you want. And, uh, Huge I'm having some pink spikes, by Soul. the way, so you're, uh, you're on your own for a second here. There we have it. You got a nice double to start things off for the Wind Ranger. And... Pretty much just what they needed. I want to let this Doom just kind of slide away from this game. Oh, at the same time, Akashi, not in a happy place. They do trade off Same, eh? <laughs> Luna is uh, in a lot of trouble in this lane, but pretty much it's just the supports getting every single kill. You got three on the Shadow mm -hmm. Demon, two on the Enchantress. Enchantress diving, looking for her own killing oh, spree yeah. as well. Just one more hit to do it. Wildwing Ripper, 10 seconds for a Hurricane. But that HP is not going to be enough for a tier 2 tower, so he's going to let go of the chase. Wow, that's, uh, that sucks for Ponyo. The Enchantress, if I if I had to choose which one of these two supports I would rather be, right, when all the kills in the lanes are going to go our way, I would much rather be that Ench. So this is definitely still a... ...with the Pango. 
Also, Puck making a rotation to the other lane. So instead of having both mid laners in the same, Puck is in trouble. Does manage to dodge. He's able to get out, but Ponyo is also being targeted by Ikigai. And there goes your Enchantress. So good reply there from Team Tough. Only because of those rotations happening and Ikigai getting a piece of more of the fights. And Chuan just basically left empty handed. They're looking for the Doom with the Stampede and keeping Fortune Soul safe. Dang. They are also bringing in the Pango and the SDs also here, so it's probably not going to be just one kill, might just be two. Slowing with the Blood Grenade into the Disruption, a couple stacks of Poison. <laughs> another missed Power Shot. Alright, doesn't matter, you guys got it. He's got it. However, the mid-tower is taking damage. Though the importance of these mid-tier ones, a uh, Sven or a Luna or no. any Cleaver basically with Battle of Fury farming big stacks. Ikigai a little optimistic on the roll-up there, maybe hoping that he could mm. get himself a, uh, an opportunistic kill on that puck, but Chuan... Nah. Oh, so they baited Ikigai in though. Pango falling for this trap pretty easily, but though they get the kill... Oh yes, they do. That's a nice one. Hurricane to pop the coil. That works. That's a lot of damage, and that is the mid-tower down now. And literally, that was just Chewin baiting him. I mean, he had no vision in the in the mid-river, basically, there. So he's just thinking, okay, Puck's poking me, not doing a lot of damage. Or he orbs out with maybe recovering, maybe joining his team. It's also, the idea is maybe to play around this Puck that is, uh, that is active and online right now. They have the Enchantress, too, which is a lot of damage they can deal. Off lane. Jokum yeah. is getting killed, and bottom lane they're setting up for the Pango roll. Does connect onto Ponyo. That's broken. The enchant slow, but with that focus fire uh, and a javelin, it's an easy one for Fortune Soul. We're, uh, we're missing a couple of swords. Get the stun on two, and swap save from JTR. Try to get closer to the vent. One more hit should do it. Akashi's got it. The tower is also helping break through that shield. Akashi has another lucent beam. Also has Eclipse if he really wants to use it. There we, there we go. Sadly, the trolls want a piece of that too. So uh, that level one lucent beam Eclipse doesn't really do much. Chuan doesn't want to go for the chase. He's too low. as we uh... still on par. Yeah. Still on par with the puck. Again with the Maelstrom, just that lightning zapping Bombi slowly but surely. The Doom comes out with the Stampede as well. They don't get the Terrorize. Still holding on to it for the time being, working their way towards the Shadow Demon. Swap saved, nicely played by JTR, and backup is on its way. Same is also TPing in, JTR is dead though, and Scent never gets there in time. That's a, pretty much like a five second teleport. Yeah, Akashi actually has to TP out, no? Oh, uh oh, <laughs> row, 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 row! Indeed, he did not get to touch the center anymore. Way too much armor, and now with four points above the roof, jungle. You can compare the positioning of Fortune Soul right now, right? Is all the way behind that tier two on the bottom side, and they had to almost dive him in order to get the kill. And it meant that support could come in, and instead the Luna, far out, man. I think they might have read this move because Seime is also moving away from Puck and Dark Willow. Over Luna top. This is where she'll probably be the next time, but they find the Doom, which is also a good target to go for. A lot of damage being thrown in. And another Rolling Ball of Thunder also used up. WS will drop. Chewin will get out. And the arrow is immediately drawn already. He says, come bother her. But I think that he is now in over his head. Yeah, it's a... Uh... A lot of trouble going his way. Fear and everything, the Eclipse doesn't do the greatest amount of damage, but, uh, you know, gets the job done. However, is he ready for <laughs> round two? Kishka, JTR, Ikigai, also Fortune Soul is in the area. He's teleporting away. This time he gets out. <laughs> Last time he didn't. Mm -hmm. The ports are in peril here. The swap onto Kishka. He's trying to run, run away. And the coil will snap, but they've got Chewin where they want him. Doom comes out. Chewin gets killed by Seime with a blink stun. And Doom still chasing Fortune Soul. That's a lot of money riding on this Wind Ranger. Has to get out, and the Stampede will do the trick. WS getting bullied by Ikigai. There's also another Rolling Thunder available, so the Doom is going to get locked down on the spot. WS 
slowly but surely dying, and Seimei will get a double kill for that fight. Two cores from Talon dying, and an oh. attempt by and Joker tried to snipe him, <laughs> but that's not gonna work. Shadow Realm dodged by Windrun. Yeah, well, Fortune Soul did have to have his, uh, his fingers on the keys there. Radiance that one come, came flying out of fog, but... DPs are coming in as well, the Enchantress, he just used his Focus Fire, gets no damage out, same able to stun it to WS, but Kishka coming in from the side, Akashi also joining in the fight, there's a swap, they save the Centaur, Fortune Soul on the run, the Eclipse completely dodged, but the Coil is going to be there, connecting onto two, Shackle shot on two as well, onto the Puck, onto the Dark Willow as well, JTR is down though, Doom on the chase, does have Purge, another beautiful Fuck stun, you. but maybe even more kills going their way, just in time for the phase shift, Fortune Soul in the front, he wants that kill, he'll take that kill. Akashi will retaliate though and finally get that big streak away from Fortune Souls. Uh, oh, Wind Ranger of Asame. Okay. I mean, they already did a couple nice nifty moves. I don't think a third will work. Yeah, the tower is uh, going to be taken down. Also, I love how WS is he scanned himself. <laughs> it's like, is this? I feel like, oh. There we go. Okay. Nice timing yeah. on the Doom. He's out. Ulti for ulti traded. Nothing of value lost. No. Let's destroy this Roshan. Talon, I think if they, even if they did know about this Roshan, they're not uh, not going to contest. I don't need to for it. The thing is, if they stick around for too long in this top area, they already got teleports coming in. There's no vision, but this Centaur, we've seen Seimei do blind blinks. He goes in again. There we go. Connects onto the Dark Willow. And a casualty. Let's get the Terrorize off. It's, uh, slim chances of survival. Chewin hunting Kishka yeah. in the Lotus Pool here. He does snap the coil, but he's already Glimmer Cape. Has the gem. <laughs> they want this gem from him. And Akashi is also oh, joining in the fun. This is a big trade. Oh, I've lost the Willow, Radiant but uh, losing the gem. Detection boys. Oh no. Oh no way! Oh, is he is he going the other way? Is he going out as well with the TP? Oh my goodness, Kishka! <laughs> MVP. Huge. That was what huge. A juke. I don't know. And what they got a kill. Yeah. That is I mean he was dead to rights there. All of the TPs have gone to the top side. There was no power. Same man misses the stun though. Yeah. No, but like, well. Yeah, all they need is a little bit of information, but they've got info in terms of sk uh, spells that they have, and they have four stuns and disruption. Talon, they got a chase for these kills every single time. You can see the immediate turnaround from the fence there as well. It's like, ah, I am save himself. Just same A, stampede up. Puck is invisible though, doesn't get the stun. Well, not invisible, but faced out. Out of this world, dude. They just got two T2s for that. And a stampede. Oh, Thinking they, he's stronger they've than he really is. Oh, he was actually just caught with the stun. There's two separate fights happening at the same time. The Eclipse turn around. Shadow she Demons also coming in. She just knows that she's done for. Or Akashi. Uh, you... While hunting Fortune Soul could be a carry for carry. They need this Wind Ranger kill. And that's just the Aegis. There's no stampede. It will take them some time to get here. Doom is available. WS is right there. They drop it on top of Fortune Soul. And here come the cavalry. Shackle? But are they going to get to retaliate? Wind Ranger's already down. They blink away. Maybe they lose the Dark Willow here. But at least they don't lose more for it. Uh, uh, say that. <laughs> the stun on to Ponyo. Same again. Rolling Thunder does connect. Holding Ponyo on the spot, same even body blocking the guy. Two more seconds for another stun, another bench stun throw in. This guy is having an absolute nightmare of trying to get away against oh, yeah. this many stick game. Big. They're taking the fight to them. Kishka. That's aggressive, but, Ooh, but same is on the money. One of the supports out of the way. Joken coming in for the teleport. Does a T want to join in on? Akashi Eclipse is already used. Nice coil on the side here. Kishka is low, but the Shadow Demon moving away. JTR is also dropping, and Akashi finally cleans him out of the way. Supports are down. They are about to maybe I... lose this Willow. Maybe even Akashi, they actually lose the Luna first. The same, it does miss the stun, but that Swashbuckle kind of accidentally kills Ponyo in the backline. Fortune Soul versus two. 
Dropping low with the Witchblade ticking, and that's another kill for Chiwen. But Fortune Soul lose, losing his life. That only means that the Pango is going to be getting out. So uh, a pretty scrappy skirmish. Yeah, I'm getting him predictably. Yeah. Threatening him as well. As right now, a puck that plays freely, plays very well, good from a puck that's playing air. Oh, 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 there was a willow there. Yeah, there used to be one. Just a puddle of blood on the ground after that. Stun on Anio with the Stampede. And oh. just finally taken out too, so that's two. And Talon are down their supports for 40 seconds. Split down push is happening though, Chewin. Yeah, he's down the tower. Yep, but... but uh, yep, the fight starts with WS finishing off Kishka. Trying to slow down Seimei, throws the Doom on him. Akashi trying to help him out from the back with that fresh Konda. Chewin is also here. Oh, already been soul. used, and there goes your Aegis as Akashi is just blowing them up. Ikigai trying to hurt Chewin here. Akashi into the tree line. They needed to get the same A sent out of the way. They're successful in doing so. Now Jokum taking another fight on the side, on the supports, on the Vengeful Spirit. That's another casualty. And there goes your Pango. And it's all being torn apart with the Wind Ranger getting caught with the fear. And that is a team wipe after finishing a Roche. What the hell just happened, Team Tough? They I didn't even really... have their supports up in time. And they still lost this fight. Yeah, and I think what happened is that they really underestimated the impact that the Centaur has for them in these fights. Like this in-out in factor with the constant stuns. If you lose the Centaur in the middle of this chaotic fight... They're trying to capitalize on this kill, which they look like they're able to get. And Mass the other way we go. Too. I love this team. Like, their commitment is just absolutely nuts. There's your gem down on the ground, too. Two cores lost, one support to follow. Soul will finish off the inch. That does come with the buybacks, but it works. Don't want to use them here. Yeah, and if I had a Luna, I would up. say no as well. Trying to load up the Terrorize right on the money as well. It does connect on Fortune Soul, but they've already done their job. So that really just helps them get out of there faster. Mm, Sometimes you need a little address. Oh, I think don't get same A. Uh, I love how Ponyo's baiting him. He's yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. you've jumped me before, do it again. Come on. Too come obvious. On. Long Roshan, it goes straight into their playbook. Uh, and they found smoking. Akashi. What a fine stampede is used. Chuan is coming to the rescue, but the BKB goes off Akashi. It was the disruption that ruins everything. Kishka. Ah, uh, heat in the moment decision, but what can you do? Luna blinks out as well after being targeted by Focus Fire, and this is looking like Talon's fight. It's not looking too good unless they can recover with something. Fortune Soul's about to die. The Wind Ranger is already out of play. JTR is dropping low. Jokum is also there to bully. Ikigai stone, uh, stunned and actually stunned Seimei as well, going right next to him, and this Pango in roll up can't do anything. All started with just a, you know, they found the target they wanted. But disruption can also disrupt you. Yeah, and it, all the way to the draft, we were talking about that possibility. And, and that's that series. That is oh boy. the series indeed. But on the other hand, the way that they went out here is, I don't want to say it's out with the bang, but they were certainly going for